My name is Enes Öztürk. I'm with Horton Max for the last 16 months. I first started using Hadoop in 2006, and it was a uh, it was a search engine project based upon Apache Notch. And as you know, Hadoop forked from Notch itself. So we were using Hadoop uh, for building the search indices and crawling the web in 2006, and then I started using it. Then I started contributing it in 2007. HBase is a NoSQL database. It's designed for um, for being a scalable and distributed um, uh, data store system, and it's mainly used for um, running on on top of clusters and running on commodity hardware. In 2004. Google looked at their, their use cases and decided to build a new storage infrastructure based on, upon their distributed file system. And uh, they, bu they built the big table because uh, they, were, um, they were having problems scaling the, their storage systems. And uh, they built big table to mainly for the web search in this is use case. And then it, it, they also went into storing a lot of other kinds of uh, data that Google has. It's basically built for, uh, for giving random redirect re re access to your data. HBase works by um, sharding your data into, into your cluster and into machines and uh, it does the auto sharding and load balancing itself. Um, so uh, your your tables are are sharded into what we call regions, and each region is a is a range on the on your key space, and the region servers, which are individual slave nodes, are hosting those regions and serving the read and write requests. So HBase has a data model that's a little bit different than the SQL data model, um, and it has um, key column and um, timestamp, which goes into a value. It can also host multiple versions of the same value, which are addressed by the, seat, um, by the same cell. And uh, HBase also keeps the values in sorted order, so that you can re do really efficient scans over your data. Looking at the new features coming there, like wire, wire protocol changes, um, protobuf uh, proto conversions and compaction improvements, mean time to recovery improvements, um, uh, modulization stuff. It has a lot of great stuff in it.